Okay, so this right here is what I've been talking about. Like all season long, I've said that I believe that the San Antonio Spurs have really good defensive pieces and they're not bad defensively individually. It just comes down to lack of cohesion and lack of experience because this right here, this is really nice to see and it shows that we're pretty doggone good. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, so before we look at this beast of a graph, I wanna talk about something else that's pretty beastly, and that is clanthemerchfan.com. Link in the description. If you guys wanna get some merch, please do help your boy out. Uh, it means the world to me. So let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, like I said, this is a phenomenal graph. We won't be here super long, but let me go ahead and break down what they're trying to say here. So big shout out to Swoops, and big shout out to uh, Big Ball Index, uh, B-Ball Index, sorry, I said Big Ball. Good, what am, what am I talking about? Um, so here we go. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> here we go. Do subscribe though. Um, as we can see here, uh, when you scroll more up, the further you go up, that means you're locking dudes down. The further you go to the right, that means that you're guarding stars on a nightly basis. Now, the further you go down, that means you're a traffic cone and you're absolutely trash on defense. And the further you go left, uh, you're basically hitting on defense. So you're, you're just you're just not a good defender. Okay, you go down and that's like mini chart or mini graphs, right? So anyways, but we don't care about that. What we care about is who is on here. Do you guys see what I see? Do you see what I see? I know it's a lot of players. All right, there's three players in particular that I think is pretty doggone impressive. So as we can see here, Jeremy Sohan being a rookie is so far to the right on the same on the same level as Marcus Smart, but he's locking them down slightly better. Same thing with Romeo Langford. He's further to the right, right next to uh, Marcus Smart. And then if you go up here, here's Trey Jones. So as we said, the further you go up, that means you're locking guys down. So he's not necessarily guarding the best player all the time, but he is definitely ahead of his peers. Um, so Trey Jones, Jeremy Sohan, and Romeo Langford are absolutely killing it for the San Antonio Spurs. One thing that I did find kind of sad though, is uh, this, as you guys can see, Tari Eason. Um, and I know that he's a rookie and I know they haven't, you know, uh, utilized him crazily as far as like putting him against the best player. But I think it also comes down to the fact that he just isn't, he hasn't been as great as a lot of Spurs fans expected him to be. As you guys know, he's definitely a player that I uh, wanted. I was like, dude, if he can fall late in the draft or if somehow Jeremy Sohan could fall later and we can move up against Tari, I was totally for it. I mean, all the comparisons to Kawhi and everything, but everyone gets compared to Kawhi. Um, so yeah, so I was pretty excited about that. But when it's all said and done, uh, yeah, it just wasn't the case. But that's sad. But you know what's even sadder? You know what's even sadder? This right here. Now, don't get me wrong. Okay, he's been out for quite a bit, so maybe that has something to do with with uh, the graph here. But you can see here that that's uh, that's Devin Fassell. Uh, so, like, when a lot of people talk about how he's a lockdown defender and he's a phenomenal defender, I never really felt that way. I, I mean, every time I watch him, I think he's a good defender. I think he's really great in the lanes. But as far as an on-ball defender, eh, not not so much. Okay, but I think that's going to be totally fine all right going forward i don't think devin fassell is a great on ball defender necessarily i think he's he's doable i think he's may, maybe slightly above average um but overall i think that he's more so like play the lanes type player which is totally fine because jeremy sohan is definitely in my opinion a good on ball defender well it shows it here right and trey jones is a really good on ball defender and romeo langford is 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 a good on ball defender so i think that when it's all said and done as the spurs really uh, key in on who's going to be their main guys defensively um, and who's going to lock down who who's going to be on who um, I think that is going to really benefit to have somebody like Devin Fassell who can play the lanes uh, more than anything so just wanted to bring that to your attention but overall like I said I don't think that we're a terrible team defensively I think that I, I think individually we have some really good defenders and it's just a matter of bringing it all together and getting someone in the paint that can play some defense I know Jakob has just gone. He's like, well, why didn't we just keep Jakob? There was no point. Okay. I think that we got a, a decent haul for Jakob and you have to move forward in that archetype. You will be able to find it. So, um, but we'll see what happens going forward. Just wanted to show you guys this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, also hilarious that Shane Sharp is this far down. Uh, just want to bring that to your attention. If there's anything on this, um, you can pause the video or um, anything like that and just let us know if there's anything that stands out to you. It's really hard to pinpoint other Spurs players I think I said I think I saw Doug McDermott 
here. I'm pretty sure that's Doug McDermott. So, but we wouldn't be surprised by that, right? Being all the way to the left. But yeah, I'll give it to you guys later. Thank, thanks for all the support. Until next time, bye.